Hi, I'm Captain Ben Wolf with Sportfish Michigan, and I've got a rig that I want to use today, and it's called the Zika rig. And up here in northern Michigan, we have really great opportunities to fish with tubes, which are very, very productive. But a lot of our customers, sometimes depending on the wind conditions and the bottom contour, have trouble feeling the bottom with a standard rig tube with the weight inside the tube head. So what we do with the Zika rig is we modify a little bit and then customers have really no trouble feeling the bottom. So all this rig is really is just an extra wide gap worm hook that we put a split ring on and then I use a finesse drop shot weight. And what that allows us to do is to change the weights depending on the conditions. What happens when this falls, it falls straight to the bottom just like that. And then the tube, you know, kind of is flared. And then when we drag it along the bottom, the weight is able to be felt by the angler because the weight is exposed. And so it's, it doesn't have the dulling effect that the plastic does around the, the, um, the weight if the jig had we're inside the tube. And to rig this, all we do is we just, it's a standard Texas rig. And that's it. This is a really versatile rig. We can fish it in a lot of different applications and especially just dragging along the bottom which is so productive up here and um, you know the hook is back towards the tail so when we have the fish that grab the tail you know they end up getting the business end of the hook too so this is the Zika rig that we fish up here in the Traverse City area it's really versatile and works really well for us let's go fishing so the same areas that I go looking for anything that looks different a light spot if there's a darker bottom or a dark spot if there's a lighter bottom those are all the same places that we want to cast either a drop shot rig or a tube, but with the Zika rig, it allows me to feel the bottom a lot better. So I see a likely looking spot. I'm just going to cast it out past that and bring it back towards the structure. The thing I love about this is you can either do it with a bait casting rod or you can do it with a spinning rod. It's such a versatile option. I got one here. Nice. On that Zika rig tube. Nice post spawn fish. And you got it right in the top of the, the jaw. They're pretty up here. And so much fun. Let's get him back. When we cast out to a very specific structure, this is going to fall straight because the weight is down. And so it's going to fall straight down to where we want it to go. In contrast, if we had a tube with a jig head inside, it would spiral. And so sometimes we can make the perfect cast, but then that spiral takes us away from where we really want to be. However, every given day is different. Sometimes the fish really respond well to that spiral. Sometimes they want it just a straight fall so we can get right by the structure. Oh, they're so pretty in this water. They don't like the tube. Thank you, darling. For more information, or if you're looking for a captain or guide in the state of Michigan, please give Sportfish Michigan a call or check us out on the web, sportfishmichigan.com.